Hey y'all and welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm Leslie and I'm so glad you're here to my channel. We're making our final cookie of our Valentine's Cookie Week. And so if you think this is something you're gonna enjoy, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification and give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate any activity you can give me and you can comment below. So we're gonna get started on this chocolate chip cookie that has a little bit of a story behind it. But first, I need some ingredients. So we're going to the store. Hey guys, we're here at Food Line. We're getting ready to get the last ingredients for our last cookie of Cookie Week. So we're going in. I do have some stuff at home, but I need just a few extra things. So we're going in. Give me a thumbs up. Okay guys, the first thing I need to pick up is some fresh baking soda. I think I have some, but I wanna get um, some fresh. But instead of name brand, <laughs> since my husband's with me, I'm gonna get the cheap stuff. 59 cents, 89 cents. 30 cents. 30 cents. Okay. Every penny adds up. The recipe calls for both semi-sweet and peanut butter. I have some, a mixture of peanut butter and semi-sweet, but I'm gonna get just one full thing of um, semi-sweet, 12 ounces, and I need a 12 ounce of peanut butter, but I'm gonna show you something I'm gonna do different. Okay, we need some chopped pecans for this one. This one is gonna be good, good, good. So, so you're not chopping them yourself? No, I'm not gonna chop them myself. I'm going the easy route this time. <laughs> All right, we need sugar. Well, come here, I'll give you some. Mm. <laughs> um, you want me to just get the 10 pound? It's up to you, sweetie. We go through a bunch of sugar. 10 pounds. Bunch of sugar. All right, what else? Um, flour. All purpose flour. I'm about out at home. Say it louder in case I didn't hear you. I'm about out of all purpose flour, okay. so I need some at home. Okay. And I only use white lily. Looks like you're using something else today. Right there it is. That's all, that's all purpose right there, right? Where? Right there. See it? Right there where I'm pointing. The yes, black. Yes. See? Right there. Oh, but it's open. It's, it's open. open. And it's the last bag. <laughs> and it's the last The last bag. bag. God, I hate that. Looks like we're doing something different. Yes, I'm using a different one. Yep. Looks like it's a food line day. Let's go with... Uh, decisions, decisions. Decisions. <laughs> Right here. I think this gold is, medal. I think this is one. No, let's go with gold medal. Gold medal, it is. Okay. All right. All right. Gold medal. Oh, we can go with King Arthur. I just go with gold medal. Gold medal, it is. Okay. Is that the last ingredient? That's the last thing I need. The rest right. I have at home. All right, guys, hang tight. See you guys at home, and we'll make these cookies. We'll be in the kitchen shortly. Okay guys, I'm back with the ingredients and I wanted to tell you the story behind this recipe. Bryant and I have always loved to go to bed and breakfast inns and um, we went to one on our honeymoon. We've been to several throughout our marriage and at some point during our marriage, um, we were in the ministry, I believe. We went to this one in the mountains of North Carolina and it was called the Baird House Inn, B-A-I-R-D. I don't think it is any longer in service or in operation, but it was one of our favorite ones. And the family who owned it were so sweet. And that you walked in and you just smelt something bacon every time you walked in. It was wonderful. Well, they had a little parlor room, uh, like a common room for their guests. Um, and always sitting out in this parlor room was a tray of cookies. These were the cookies on that tray. Now I'm changing them up a little bit. And I know y'all say, why are you always changing a recipe? Well, let me give you an example. If somebody gave you a pizza recipe from the homemade crust to the seasoning to the toppings, everything, and their topping list called for mushrooms, but you hate mushrooms, are you gonna put the mushrooms on there? No, you're not. You're gonna change it to what your family likes. And so that's why I mix up recipes a little bit. Plus, I like to experiment and try new things and do things differently. So, um, let me explain the change I'm making. 
The recipe calls for a 12 ounce bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Sorry guys for the interruption. I got a call from the chicken house and had to run over there. So, let me back up. I think this is where I was at. It calls for one 12 ounce bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips and one 12 ounce bag of peanut butter chips. I'm not a fan, not a fan of peanut butter. But I happen to have a six, I mean a 12 ounce bag of milk chocolate and peanut butter. Well, I still didn't want quite that much. So what I've put in this bowl is I've put six ounces of the mixture peanut butter and milk chocolate and six ounces of semi-sweet. So I will use this whole bag of semi-sweet and this mixture. Now, if you like peanut butter, you use all the peanut butter. Or if you want the whole bag of the mixture of peanut butter and milk chocolate, use it. But I'm kind of just mixing it up a little bit. So, I'm really not sure where I was at. So, I'm actually going to start from the beginning. You're going to need <laughs> um, three-fourths cup of white sugar, three-fourths cup of brown sugar, two eggs, two sticks of butter, or one cup of butter, a cup and a half of chopped pecans, two cups of all-purpose flour to the flour i'm going to mix in a teaspoon of baking soda your chocolate chips and vanilla and i think that's it <laughs> so i'm going to meet you i'm going to go get my mixer out i'll meet you over here at the oh did i say two eggs you're going to need two eggs but i'll meet you over here when i get my mixer out and we'll get this whipped up in no time Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do right here in my mixing bowl is we're going to get our butter. It's not quite as soft as I would hoped it would be, but it's pretty soft. I mean, it's okay. I like mine to get really soft. But we're going to put this in the mixing bowl along with both of our sugars. And I'm going to take it over to the mixer and get it started creaming up together while we prepare a few other things right here. Okay, y'all, to our flour, I'm gonna mix in a teaspoon, I just wanna be sure, a teaspoon of baking soda. I leveled it off, and I'm just gonna take a whisk and kinda mix that in there. Really good. We're gonna crack our eggs in here just so I can be sure I'm not getting any shale. And it just squirted egg juice all over me. <laughs> Yuck! All right. Okay, so now we'll meet over at the mixer and we'll finish putting this all together. Okay guys, so this is looking great. We're gonna add in our egg. I'm gonna try to do one at a time. Here we go. Gonna add in some vanilla. And y'all know I don't measure my vanilla, I just squirt. And I think now may be a great time to give the sides a scrape. This um, handle on my, I mean this paddle is supposed to get the sides really good, and it does. It does a pretty good job, but it's not perfect. And I like to go to the bottom and lift up. We'll just scrape that off. Back down, back on. Now we're going to start to add our flour in a little at a time. I'm just going to kind of put it in a little bit at a time. I'm wanting to make some bread today and I've already got my mixer out so it might be a good day to make whoop, that was a little too much at one time. <laughs> My 
my coffee maker is going to be white. Oh my goodness, did you see that? Okay, so don't all good cooks make a mess? <laughs> okay, let me go get the chips. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I kind of cleaned up a little bit. I still got to clean my coffee maker, but... <laughs> oh, well. So, I've scraped the sides down. We're going in with our chocolate chips now. This is our mixture one. And it's going to make some bumping noises. All right, and now I'm going in with our semi-sweet bag. And in with our nuts, and then we'll be done. It's gonna jump out of there. Alright guys, I believe that's mixed enough. Let me get it scraped down so it stays in the container. <laughs> stays in my bowl. Get in there. Alright. Very good. Alright guys, I'll see you over at the table. Okay, as you can see this makes a ton of dough. So, I don't think I'm going to bake it all up. I think I'm going to save some and freeze some. Not freeze. I probably won't even put it in the freezer because I'll use it before it goes in the freezer. But, uh, refrigerate some. So, I've got my pan with my parchment paper here. I've got my... I, I measured out liquid in this. And this is a tablespoon. And so, it, that's what it said to do is to um, do these by the tablespoonful. So... We may do a couple of pans. And I'm just scooping. I know, I know. <laughs> scooping and and flopping. Scooping and flopping. <clears throat> now guys, you will want to stay tuned. Um, I know not I don't have a video every Sunday, but this Sunday I will have a really special um, video. It won't be a cooking video. All right. Let me get three pans and then refrigerate the rest. Because I have a feeling these are going to be really delicious. Let's get 12 on each pan. All right, guys, my oven is preheating to 350. There's one pan done. Oh, it's ready. So let's go ahead and stick that pan in. We'll do individual pans at a time. Okay, let's go. Let's go 11 minutes. Somewhere between 10 and 12. Next pan. And y'all, I'm just going to um, bag up the rest after I get, oh, I may get three pans done. And then we'll just bag up the rest and I can pull it out anytime I want to. You know what you could do if you wanted to? You could actually go ahead and scoop all these out, put them in the freezer just like this. Freeze them till they're hard, then pull them out and put them in a bag, and then you don't have to scoop then. And that may be what I do. I don't know. We'll see. You can do just about anything. Um, that might be the most convenient, not necessarily now, but um, when I when it comes time to bake more, that would probably be the most convenient thing to do. Y'all, these are going to be extremely chocolatey. There's a bunch of chips. All right. There's tray number two. Let's do tray number three. 
and then I'll just think about what to do with the rest. One, two. I don't really have room in my freezer to go ahead and scoop them unless I use my, whoops, my deep freeze and lay the tray in there. We'll have to just wait and see. Move that chip with that one. It says it makes three dozen, but this makes a whole lot more than three dozen. <laughs> a whole lot more than three dozen. All right, guys. There we go. I'm going to set this dough aside, and I'll figure out what to do with it in a minute. But now we just wait for those to come out. Okay guys, I just got out the first pan of cookies and they look so good. They look so good. So I'm laying them over here to cool. It's got the second pan in and we'll be ready to taste them for long. I've got out a pretty pink platter to put them on. So we'll be ready for the taste test in just a little bit. Okay, hey, look who I found. I did make him change his shirt because he just come in from the chicken house. Happy Saturday morning. Yes. Pre-Valentine's Day. <laughs> Look, I have this beautiful pink platter full of cookies that he's going to try for Chocolate you. Chocolate chip. I believe I'll get one to try too. Where's my milk? Oh, do you need milk? Oh, no, it's okay. You ready? You ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Very soft. The way I like them. Mm. I don't like hard chocolate chip cookies. Mm. That's some kind of good. That is very good. Very, very good. Mm. It's what? Phenomenal. <laughs> it is mm. restaurant good. That is how good it is. I mean, it who, is bed and breakfast good. Who is Otis Spunkmeyer? I don't <laughs> have any idea. Who needs them? Or Chips Ahoy? I know. It may be easier to buy the cookie dough, cut it, and do it. But those right there, the quality and the taste is so good. So good. Well, she, I got a surprise for you. You do? You have a package. Oh, get out. I got a package. Finally, I get a package. Would you like to open it? Yes. I'm going to push this back so they can watch you open it. Does it say who it's from? Right there. Can I say her name? Mm-hmm. Jennifer... McQueen in California. So, all the way from California. All the way from Cali. You might just want to rip because that's. I was looking for a knife. Of course, we don't have one handy. <laughs> there we go. All right. It's wrapped up again. Wrapped up again. Some yellow tissue paper. I can't see, so you'll have to hold oh, it up. Yellow tissue paper. They ask when we have our new kitchen, will they be able to see what we're doing and see us at the same time? Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. Unless we buy some camera systems. But anyway. Oh, check it out. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, this is good. I uh, thought you needed the shirt and a sign to hold up to show Leslie how good her cooking is. Watch this. Your biggest fan. Here you go, Gina McQueen. You ready? You guys what? ready? There. Phenomenal! Oh, is it backwards for them? No, I don't think it is. I think it's right for them. Okay, I hope it's right for you. If it's not, it says phenomenal. <laughs> and my shirt, here you guys, here you guys go, look. Phenomenal. <laughs> that is so good. Thank you very much. Uh, Jennifer. Jen Jenny. I think Jenny. she goes by Jenny. Jenny McQueen. Thank you so much. That is so good. I appreciate that. Uh, now you know what he'll be wearing in all my that videos. That is cool. Um, Phenomenal. <laughs> you know when I when I wear this. Yeah, everybody's gonna think he thinks he that thinks that he's phenomenal. That's what I'm gonna say. When I wear this, everybody's gonna think I'm a phenomenal husband. You when are. Yes, you I are. You're the best. Anyway, happy pre Valentine's happy Day Valentine's to all of you Day. guys. We we hope that you guys are able to celebrate. You know, uh, and I'll close the video out with this: the most uh, greatest love that we ever have comes from the Book of John. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. A gift to you 
so that you could have eternal life. And um, even though this uh, Valentine's is about love between husbands and wives and boyfriends and girlfriends, um, the Bible says uh, the greatest love that anybody could have is that someone would lay their life down for their friends. That's and what, that's what Jesus did that's for what, us. That's what it says in the book of John. You're going to hear a little bit more about that tomorrow on tomorrow's Valentine's video. Because it's going to be, what's it going to be? It's, it's, it's going to be on, on Valentine's. So <laughs> that's all yeah. I'm giving out right now. That's all you're going to share? That's all I'm going to share. Right, this uploads tonight, right? This The cookie one will be up tonight. And Sunday there will be another video, but it will not be a cooking video. So uh, on this special Valentine's Day or pre-Valentine's Day, show the people around you how much you really love them and appreciate them. You don't have to go buy extravagant gifts and all that. Just simply look into their eyes, if it's your spouse, look into their eyes and just tell them how much thing they mean to you. Oftentimes, words of affirmation, acts of service, um, and quality, the, time. quality time together. Those things are invaluable in the uh, in the world in which we live. And so many times, we don't get to do those things because life is busy. Show us some love in the comments, too. That's exactly right. Give us a thumbs Be up. Be kind. Leave us some comments, <laughs> and uh, we appreciate you guys. Thank you so much, uh, Jen, Jenny, Jenny. Jenny McQueen. Thank you so much for my gift. She's the lady who does my kitchen scarves. Oh, oh, get out. Winner. It says winner on the back side. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Here we go. I didn't know it said winner on the back side. Guess what? Leslie has a winner. That's what I said. So anyway. All right, guys. Thank you guys Thank for you watching for the Farm and the Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you, you can, can fry, fry anything. anything. Happy Valentine's Bye, Day. Bye.